So this is gonna be a complete unboxing of this uh, Crease Precision CO2 setup that I put together on their uh, online store. Stickers. So, 10 gallon tank, uh, I did get the pad on the bottom so it can be set down on the ground. Um, mount, it's all stainless. Handle, which also dubs as kind of protection um, for the regulator. 30 feet of hose, um, 400 PSI. Fixed regulator at 150 psi. These are the uh, these are billet clamps. These are nice. These mount to this, and then you can put on any size tubing. So they go on my down tube on the uh, bed cage. Uh, 300 psi digital fill gauge with a bag of accessories. And now we'll uh, we'll put this thing together. When you pull this apart, uh, you'll see a white plastic washer in there. That is the actual washer. That is the part of the seal for this. So make sure you don't lose it. Make sure that you keep it a part of the situation or you're going to have a leak. All right, so I usually kind of set this on here lightly, loose, and then get my regulator started. I like to time the regulator vertical, set this um, right in the center of the two, tighten these two bolts, tighten this down, and then this situation is pretty much ready to go. Some of these accessories are actually uh, quite clever. Um, you know, this is great as an extension when you need to get into hard to reach spots, valve stems. A lot of dualies would need something like this or when you have valve stems or cores that are at the back of the wheel. Um, this is actually a nice little total no loss uh, extension with a 90 on it where when you're reaching to uh, hard to reach situations, you can thread that on there first, going in the other direction, then just hit your chuck from this direction. Another little tip um, that you can swap out on here uh, compared to this one which uh, I, I like these a lot too, because I just clip this on to my valve stem and then I just hold down the air to fill it up and not sit there and hold this on there. You will also need to get your fittings. Um, you know, I did a female and a male. The male is gonna go in here. The female is gonna attach here. Um, so, those are local hardware stores, super easy, but just make sure you get those fittings of trying to get all this done, one and done. I like to also uh, get my baseline weight of the tank empty, and I'll ride it on the tank so I know when I add 10 pounds to it, I'll have an idea how much I have left over after each usage. All right, so this pretty much sums it all up. Uh, just wanted to mention real quick that I decided to go with this hose over the coiled hose. Believe it or not, this takes up less space rolled up than the coiled hoses do. This is also a true 30 feet. So I can run the hose from the tank to all four tires, even Buddy's tires, without scraping down the side of the bed, have plenty of slack. Um, so that, that's why I went with this direction. I've had one of these once before, and they worked out pretty good. So. I'll show these clamps um, when it's mounted 
on the truck here in the next clip. Uh, gauge, accessories, 150 pound regulator. Uh, there's the stainless mount mounted to it. And uh, that pretty much sums up everything that I have for this package. So here's the uh, billet clamps. Um, it does come with spacers in case you're putting it on different size tubing. So you have that option. I believe it's like one and a half inch tubing up to two inch tubing. So here it is, just the mount on the tubing. You can see what those billet clamps look like. And the flush bolts on the inside. So here it is all finished and mounted and strapped in. Kind of offsets the jack. Um, I keep the stuff in a little separate bag inside here under your seat, whatever works for you. But the uh, pretty simple setup. Really happy with uh, all the quality so far, the price. I got to individualize my details a little bit more so than just buying one of those pre-done kits. So yeah, check these guys out, Priest Precision.